let's just get this out of the way. They have a personal advisory business, right, over at Vanguard. And the general idea is that in order to appeal to the large customers that are part of that business, they need to offer some sort of private equity product. Is that the case? That's right. So you, you might know Vanguard as this very kind of folksy appearing mm -hmm index fund company, but they also do have actively managed funds, um, over a trillion dollars in assets in those funds. And they offer some of these kinds of funds to institutions. So with this new private equity vehicle, it will be offered to institutions first. That includes endowments and pensions. I wonder how much of this is Vanguard feeling the effects of the race to lower fees, the race to zero, mm -hmm. because Vanguard, along with the other big brokerages, have had to cut fees on their different offerings, and now they have to look for other ways to make up for it. That's definitely part of the appeal. As you've seen, there's been this grinding competition that's been affecting all kinds of fund managers, but particularly index fund providers. So. One way to capture higher fees is to move into these private equity style vehicles. And notably, you saw BlackRock do a similar thing in 2018 yes. with its launch of long-term private capital. So, I mean, Vanguard, obviously a big name. They're a behemoth. They can kind of throw their weight around. But you have some other heavyweights that are already offering this, like Merrill Lynch, like UBS, like Raymond James. So how is Vanguard going to compete against those companies? We'll have to see if Vanguard really chooses yeah. to compete on price. Details of that are scant. but. They're scant right now, but Vanguard, as you know, is a huge kind of price competitor, so mm -hmm. it might seek to differentiate itself and this particular private equity offering on a cost basis. Hmm. I also wonder how much of this is the new CEO differentiating the firm from Jack Bogle. This is no longer Jack Bogle's firm because Jack Bogle, the founder of Vanguard, he was always preaching cheap, low-cost index funds. He didn't even like ETFs, and now Vanguard is moving in this other direction. That's an interesting point. I think that Vanguard is saying that it's aligned with their active strategies, but I totally, I totally see your point that there's really something there that Vanguard has this image of being this cheap index fund provider, and Jack Bogle obviously really made his name and a name for the firm that way. So I guess one question I have is if Vanguard does this, then uh, what are we going to see from some of the, its peers, its normal peers? Are they going to try to move and follow Vanguard's move? It's a good question. I think that uh, Vanguard is a little late to the game when it comes to private equity, mm. so the real challenge will be whether it can stand up against your Blackstones, your KKRs, who have, who have a head start of many, many years mm -hmm. um, in this area. So Vanguard is partnering with HarborVest, which is already in PE, to actually manage this fund. The other question also, Eric Batrunas of Bloomberg Intelligence always likes to say that Vanguard kind of does the same thing that Amazon does when it enters retail, right? It just makes prices cheaper. Is Vanguard going to start bringing down the cost of getting into private equity funds as well? That will be something we have to wait and see. With this fund already, um, or with this fund looking to be available to institutions first, we'll have to take a look. But um, endowments, pensions, nonprofits, those are the types of institutions I think they're going to be going after first.